Multi-cloud is something every organization is considering, be it from startup to enterprise, Fortune 500, Global 2000. They're evaluating their entire application and technology portfolios and trying to best figure out where their application workloads should reside and how they should manage those workloads. As a car manufacturer, all the cars have sensors today and uh, we produce uh, each year 10 million of uh, cars uh, and from 2018 this will all be connected um, um, to our data centers and uh, also connected to each other. Call Foundry is, a, in my opinion, an excellent platform to target multi-cloud because it has this very neat and very clean separation of concern between the platform itself and the adapter that it's used to actually perform the deploys on different clouds. You know, we're living in a technology-fueled business renaissance. Uh, no application is an island. No business process is an island. Everything is connected. There will be multiple clouds, many different clouds. There's not one internet, there's not one cloud. Abstracting away the infrastructure, abstracting away the cloud, allows us then to choose a different cloud based on characteristics that we might not even know today. So two years from now, we might choose a different cloud. It's really important that we still have the application running, but the infrastructure doesn't matter. And I think Cloud Foundry has a really strong role in that, that whole use case because now, if the infrastructure is not critical to have to try to tinker with, you can now focus on the applications and look at Cloud Foundry as that platform for you to focus on your application services. For the developers, it's um, almost the same, the same platform, the same methodology, the same environment, uh, and that's great because for the development teams, uh, it shouldn't be uh, any difference between um, deploying an, an application on premise or deploying an application on, on a public cloud. Doesn't matter which public cloud. Multi cloud is actually about the, just the realities of you know, today's enterprise. You want to be able to choose two public cloud providers and also have on prem possibly. Um, and we're going to just continue to see a mixed use of underlying infrastructure and choices about where we host our applications and where we store our data. One of the things we love about Cloud Foundry is that it really is enterprise friendly in the sense that it doesn't require you to go start over from scratch. And so an enterprise doesn't have to rip and replace all of their data um, and change how they do data management in order to gain advantage from Cloud Foundry, which is, which is essential because applications come and go, but data lives forever.